Good morning and welcome to another beautiful day in Mauritius. Longer ride day today. I'm heading out to meet Benito and I think one other guy. We can do 100, 120k. Hopefully I get there on time because uh, I'm having to ride in this hard shoulder because there's so much morning traffic. The sun's out, should be a good one. So the road I'm on right now is actually a motorway. And I think this is probably the safest type of road out here in Mauritius. You've got a massive shoulder, there's two lanes of traffic, so chances are people will be in the other lane. Just the narrow roads that cause problems. Having said all that, the traffic's no worse than London, to be honest. And I think the attitude of the drivers is better. It's a bit like riding in Italy. They're a little bit negligent, but not aggressive and a bit cheeky. Great start to the day. We are taking it in turns with the pumping, by the way. Attempt number 27 to get the tubeless to seat. Yeah? That's okay, that's okay, yeah, yeah. No, no. Whoa. Oh, shit. Okay. We've had a small situation. My back wheel is no longer round. It doesn't go round anymore. That machine that Benito was using to pump up my tire doesn't have a very accurate pressure gauge on it because we put in 40 PSI. And I think it was more than 40 PSI. I don't think these ones are repairable like the Holy Wheels. So here's what's happening. Heading into town, uh, not on the death bus this time. Gonna try and find a bike shop that stocks disc mountain bike wheels or anything that's going to fit my bike uh, for the next week so we can still do a bit of riding as you saw from the footage um, that cannot be repaired although I'm going to fly home with it and save the hub and spokes and stuff fingers crossed we can salvage this and get a few more rides in before our time is up still got seven full days here needless to say today's ride was cancelled yeah nothing's like the movies or the pain on the So it's bad news, the bike shop won't sell me a wheel, only if I buy a full bike. I'm actually considering buying a full bike, so maybe I can borrow a bike for the next few days. Borrow my bike? A large. It's two sizes yeah. too big for me. I'll have a chat to the guys and see if there's something I can borrow. Um, worst, worst, worst case, hotel's got some mountain bikes. I'll nick one of them. In the meantime, have a look at this mess. So the pressure gauge on the uh, car pump thing obviously didn't work properly i don't know if it's because of the connection um we were using like a little adapter for the stray depressed a bit and this is the result it is our fault pumped up way too much and the tire forced the carbon outwards there's glitter everywhere from the sealant and that is one dead carbon rim weirdly enough the um the the gauge actually had a limit on it which we'd set to 40 psi but uh clearly it wasn't working properly really annoying thing about this is that i've got um carbon splinters in my fingers from touching the wheel when we're just after it happened. Gonna have to get them out somehow. We leave defeated. So what is the remedy for a broken wheel? I think it's this. can get so close up to all the uh, sea life down there. 
I found it's easier just taking off the snorkel and going just as if they're goggles because then you don't accidentally breathe in a load of seawater. What do you think, Daisy? I, I do enjoy about also terrifying. Yeah. I don't really vibe it that much. Spectacular. That's standing in its sea. It's a whole other world, isn't it, under there? <laughs> Wonderful. <sighs> Zebra fish. Little black fish. They're stripy fish. Zebra fish. Something fish. If you look in between the coral, there's fucking giant fish swimming around oh. on the bottom. Oh. That's more interesting. Yeah. Getting down to them is quite hard though. So there was a guy served it was a hairdresser and he went on an exotic Caribbean holiday and he was swimming in the sea naked and a, a fish, a tiny fish, swam up his penis and as a result of a chain reaction he, he died from this infection that he got from this what a way to go horrible little fish uh, it was amazing thank you for putting all of the fish there a man tried to surprise his girlfriend on her birthday by lying on the table naked and he put uh, a candle in his penis and it melted inside oh my god <laughs> happy birthday and it all dribbled what's happened to this video <laughs>